guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, nothing says let's get back on the horse and get um, a, a win out of these paintings than doing a Dutch pour, which I'm not really good at, using black paint and having gloves on. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it. Um, anyhow, these colors. This is Amsterdam in pearl blue. This is golden, iridescent bright gold, and it's mixed with Quinacridone Nicolaisa gold. <clears throat> this is uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Amsterdam Naples Yellow Red Light. This is Pinwheel from TLP. This is Oh, I thought it was golden, but it's not. This is a uh, Pebio iridescent green blue and iridescent blue green and a shot of titanium white. And this is Lumiere in the halo blue gold. So we are going to do, I've been busy working on it working on a logo and I don't do a logo on the on the computer no I have to draw it out and this is my base coat and it's artist law flow white and it's maiden um, black and I've mixed it with Floetrol and water all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water except for the TLP and I will put that recipe in the description Okay, so this is a 20 by 20 Artist Love Gallery Wrapped Canvas. I gotta tell you guys, I had one of my canvases pull away from the frame and it was one that I had bought in a pro pack. So I called Michaels and they not only sent me another canvas they sent me the whole order so I got six 20 by 20 they they have really good customer service is what I'm trying to say but uh, yeah I have ice right at my feet oh on his back <laughs> he's so comfortable all right so we've got this spread Let's spread a little bit more don't want any bald spots. I might even take my, no, I'm not gonna take my blow dryer to it, no. I might do this. Amount of paint to move, but I think we have enough. I'm going to torch it. Dutch pour, here we come. Um, I did, test tile, a couple of test tiles on this, these colors, and they're really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to start, how am I going to, let's figure out my composition. So I don't want anything flowery, I guess. All right. Um, do I want to put that next to it? No. Oh, oh, I have to. You know what? No, this is going here and this is going here. Okay. Now we are going to put this down. A lot of paint, Michelle. Once again. I am the queen of putting too much paint down. This is such a pretty color, especially up against the teal. Um, thank you, Nikki, for introducing me to that. I have also got one of these today. I haven't used it yet. I'm just not going in this pour, but yeah, it's going to be fun. So 
Let's just put some around here. Don't know which direction I'm going in, so. Okay. All right, so low fan, cool. I'm not touching that. Holy cow. And these colors will come up too. But by putting some opaques in there, especially when I, I use the Pebio um, iridescent colors, I put a little um, uh, titanium white in there. It, uh, it makes the color stick, it makes them pop. So I, at, speaking of popping, let's pop some bubbles. This one's really faint, but I don't, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know if I wanna do anything to it. Is that a bubble or is that a, a bug? It's a bubble. Wow. I hope it dries well. <laughs> I love these little guys here. I did, um, oh my goodness. I think I actually did a good Dutch pour. Um, wow. probably do my thing here too. Watch it. There we go. That's enough. That's it. That's all. And um, I'll take you down for a close up. Hey guys. So uh, are you guys on? Yes, you are. I have determined that I don't like this part and I'm going to blow, uh, blow it out. Don't know if I should blow it with my mouth or should I should blow it with the uh, hair dryer. too much paint on there. I'm getting some more cells. Did I ruin it? I don't think so. It was just a blob and I didn't like it and now I like it better. So I don't mind these little ones here but it was just too much there. Guys, believe it or not, I am going to scrape it. Um, I think Erica Hughes just did that on her last video. 
So it's all going to the center. I don't want to waste this paint. And I have to, you know what? She did this. I'm going to take a note from her. And that way we don't end up with any scraggly pieces. Maybe I'll put less paint on. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> it helps. I don't want too much paint on because I want it to dry properly. And it was, whoa, over. It was getting kind of out of control. It was just, it was a hot mess in the center. So I didn't like the center. So less paint this time. Yeah, right, Michelle. it again. The Dutch pour. The elusive Dutch pour. Alright. This time. I'm just going to pour. Whoops. Oh, that was way too much. Duh. I might leave out the um, pen wheel this time. No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a little thick. There's barely any of this left. Just a puddle. Ha! I got it in. All right. Okay. Here we go again. Flower, but I got a flower. It's not a bad flower. Hmm. Wonder if I should spin it. <laughs> I've also watched Rinska. She's been doing these wonderful, beautiful flowers. Got my boob in the in the black, and I'm going for it again. That's pretty. I think I'm just gonna leave it. That's what I said last time. Ha ha ha.
a worm. I wonder what would happen if I blew that out. Oh, here we go again. Here's that pinwheel. I'm gonna leave that. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't like that straight line. Oh, it's pretty. Everything's starting to pop up now. Wow, and the background has all that shimmer in it from the previous pour. It's really nice. All right, another torch. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, negative space. I like it. I'll be back now. <laughs> That's what she said last time. Hey guys, so this is my Dutch pour. It almost looks like, oh, what are those flowers? Look at all that. Oh, you can, yeah, there's bling everywhere. dries well. <laughs> hibiscus. That's what it looks like, a hibiscus. Or one of those illuminating things in the ocean. Yeah. To show you some of the details. This, like right there, that's that, um, gold. Those are cute. It looks like there's streaks though. I don't know if that's going to dry like that or not. Hmm. And then there's that teal. Oh, I just got a bug in the face. Jeez Louise. <laughs> um. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Well, he's not in my face anymore. <laughs> oh Lord, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna call it a night and fish him out. And uh, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now. Well guys, um, this isn't quite dry as you can plainly see, but I just wanted to let you know that it's dry black, the background. It, there's no streaks in it. And um, yeah, pretty happy with this one. Anyhow, um, I'll show you the truly dried results in another video. Um, there you go.